This crochet stitch is gonna be yet another one to add to your go-to list. The closed scallop crochet stitch is one that I've done in other tutorials, but they were more specific in how many stitches you need to make to create that project. I had so many people ask me, Tiffany, how can I take this crochet stitch and make whatever I want with it? That's what we're doing in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to take this closed scallop crochet stitch and make whatever you want with it. And that is so incredibly true. You can really make anything with this particular pattern that we're going to work up, the closed scallop crochet stitch. You can make the beanies, the scarves, the shawls, the tops, the washcloths, the pot holders, really the bags, <laughs> anything you could possibly want to make with this stitch, you could. But honestly, I think it makes for some of the best baby blankets out there because the closed scallop crochet stitch is very dense. There are no holes and it works up really fast and even better works up with basically any size crochet yarn that you could want to play with. Anything from that size two weight all the way through that size six weight, super bulky yarn have fun with it. The seven you could do, but it would be a lot because that th yarn is so thick. And when it comes to the lace, the crochet lace, I probably wouldn't want to work up the stitch in that. You could, but it's just so thin. All right, so the level for this crochet pattern, because we are working scallops or fans or shells, it throws us immediately in that intermediate category. However, I do believe that once you get the pattern an advanced beginner crocheter can can do this no problem. I think it's just a matter of knowing where to place that stitch that is the big thing, but watching this tutorial, I'm hoping to take away that worry and you're able to just dive into this project and have a lot of fun making whatever it is that you wanna make. The terminology I'm gonna use for this particular stitch is US terminology. So whenever I'm referring to the name of a stitch, it's in US terms. And when it comes to the multiple stitch count requirement, and I know this is the big thing that everybody has been waiting for, this stitch is worked in a multiple stitch count of a multiple of six plus one. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go ahead and work up a small swatch. I am using just a regular size four weight worsted medium Erin 1012 ply or 8WPI sized yarn for this little swatch example I'm gonna work up. Uh, just because it's thicker yarn and I'm hoping it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. The crochet hook that I'm gonna use to pair is just the H8 or five millimeter crochet hook and then a pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in those ends at the end of the project. So that's what I'm gonna utilize to make my little swatch as I show you how to make this stitch. But like I said, you could really utilize whatever yarn you want. And then I do have a video, I'll add it to the top here, of different crochet hooks that you could use with whatever size yarn you wanna work with. So if you need a little extra help, that can hopefully help guide you in what crochet hook to pair with it. So starting with a tail long enough for you to weave in the ends at the end of the project create our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Great, we are ready to begin. So like I said, a multiple of six plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is four groups of six and then plus one. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to row one. Row one, we are going to make two double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our V stitches, we got one, two, three, four. Make two double crochet stitches in that fourth chain. There you go. Skip two chains and make a single crochet stitch in the third chain from where you left off. Single crochet. Skip two, one, two, four double crochet stitches in that next chain. One, two, 
three, four, skip two, one, two, single crochet. Skip two, one, two, four, double crochets. One, two, three, four, skip two, one, two, and single crochet. Skip two, one, two, four double crochets, one, two, three, four, skip two, one, two, and single crochet in that very last chain to close row one. Great, so this is roughly what you'll be looking at right here. If there's a little bit of a curl here, that's fine. It just means your stitches are tight and it's causing your work to want to curl. As you are working your rows, that should straighten out for you. And if you needed to, you can always block your work when you are all done to lay everything flat. Let's move on to row two. For row two, let's start by chaining three. One, two, three. Turn our work. We will begin by making two double crochet stitches in that first stitch space. One, and two, great. Next, we will make a single crochet stitch between the second and third double crochet stitch. So find your fan or your scallop for the closed scallop crochet stitch or count stitches, one, two. Find those middle two double crochet stitches and we're gonna place our stitch between them. So right, if you stick your finger between those stitches like I did, it's so much easier to know where to place your crochet hook and single crochet right there between the second and third double crochet stitch. Great. Then find the following single crochet stitch. So you follow, oh, there it is. In that single crochet stitch, we will make four double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. Find the middle of the second and third double crochet stitch of the next scallop. I'm gonna stick my finger right there in between them and single crochet. Find the next single crochet stitch, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, single crochet between the second and third double crochet stitch. And that's the repeat pattern for row two. Just Find the single crochet, make four double crochets into that single crochet stitch, and then single crochet between the second and third double crochet stitch of that cluster. So single crochet, going to make four double. One, two, three, and four. Great, when you get to the very end of row two, we are going to make a single crochet stitch between that first double crochet and that chaining three that we have here. So really, if you wanna just come to the end and find the chain, insert your crochet hook between that chain and the double crochet stitch and make your single crochet stitch right there. Now this is gonna be awesome for anyone who has trouble finding the top turning chain to place a stitch into. If you struggle with that, then this is gonna be great because we are not seeking out a chain to place the stitch into. We are actually just inserting our stitch between the chain and that first double crochet stitch. Right, for the extent of this pattern, guys, all we are doing is repeating row two for however long you wanna make it. 
that's it. Love this pattern. So we're going to start, always start by chaining three. One, two, three, turning our work. Always beginning by making two double crochet stitches in that first stitch space. So one and two and then making a single crochet stitch between the second and third double crochet. What I love about this pattern is you really don't have to count any stitches. You're really following a pattern. So you are looking for that single crochet. Where is the single crochet stitch? Oh, there it is. I'm going to make four double crochets in that stitch. One, two, three, four, and then after you make those four double crochet stitches, you find the space between the second and third double crochet stitch and single crochet and repeat. And of course, when you get to the very end, you're going to just place a single crochet stitch between the chain and the first double crochet. I just wanted to make a special note in this video that we don't do anything special for the very last row of the closed scallop crochet stitch. You literally just repeat row two till you're done and then you tie off your work out of border if you would like. But there is no special last row, at least that they indicated in the pattern. I hope that helps you in understanding how and when to end your project. That's it. <laughs> So the only thing that you're going to have to really pay attention to here is just making sure you're meeting dimension for whatever project you are trying to make, whether that be a baby blanket or a beanie or a scarf or a shawl or whatever your heart desires. I really hope you enjoy the closed scallop crochet stitch. All right, guys, what did you think of the closed scallop crochet stitch? If you liked this video, please push the thumbs up button. It's like a big high five, really good feedback for me. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my upcoming videos. I have some great ones you're not going to want to miss out. If you would like to support my channel or just want a little bit more out of my channel, check out my membership program. I have a couple different levels there I think you'll really enjoy. If you loved this video, let's keep it going. I have more stitch videos for you to check out. They're all right here in this playlist that I've created just for you. Or check out this video, which is a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today, guys. I'll see you with the next one. Bye.